everyone. This is the Wellness Series and we are here with Dr. Richard Bennett. This is Claudia and we're saying hello from beautiful Alaska. I have a question for Dr. Bennett that it uh, can be very broad, but we're going to try and make it very simple. And uh, it is about the immune system, which is well said that starts aging at 30. I, I It was mind blowing for me when I learned this, but I want to Dr. Bennett to explain a little bit of, more about that. Is that is that accurate? Our immune system starts aging at 30? Well, if you think about it, we all start aging at 30. You know, I probably had my first gray hair when I was 30, and that's aging. And our immune system is not different. Uh, you know, you'd, li you'd like to think that at 30, your immune system is, uh, you know, a super athlete. And by and large it is, but it's just, then starting to slow down, starting to stumble a little bit, starting to get lazy perhaps. And all you 30 year olds don't have to go out and try and solve this problem because you don't have a problem. The aging process like the grain of hair, like losing hair, is a slow gradual one. And we immunologists call this aging of the immune system, immune senescence, like immune senility. To senesce is to slowly decline. The take home message today is you actually have it in your power to have this immune aging, this immune senescence be a very shallow slope and so it, it's very very shallow you know a marble would wholly hardly roll down it and that slope will take you out 30 years more 50 years more 60 years more so now you're 90 but we also know that for some people that slope is a steep one and a slippery one and that marble would go down that slope very quickly and it bottoms out at 50, 55, 60 and there's not much left and so we can do something about immune senescence just like we can do something about um, musculoskeletal senescence by moving by exercising we can slow down cognitive decline by using our brain reading talking solving puzzles working on the computer brain exercise so how do we how do you exercise and condition your immune system um, live a full life that's wealthy and healthy and, and well nourished and avoid some of the obvious things that make that a steep, slippery slope. Um, excessive, excessive calories is not good for anything, especially the immune system. Cigarette smoke is it particularly toxic to the immune system. Chronic, ongoing, unmitigated stress is particularly harmful to the immune system. And so yes, we are immune senescing, but it's the rate of that senescence. It's something we have a little bit of control over, it's not inevitable. And the smartest people are 30 year olds who will recognize they're starting to turn gray and maybe there's something they can do about it. So wait until you're my age to realize you've been senescing. Uh, could be too late. And so all you smart 30 year olds, you know, get on top of it. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. Uh, we'll, we'll see you on our next, um, on our next clip and uh, thank you for watching.